right, good morning, good morning. So welcome back to the R44 channel today. It's actually a bit back to our roots, the N55 BMW engine in a one series. So yeah, we've got a 135i, really cool spec, mineral gray with, I don't know what interior, but quite a cool interior. Uh, is it manual as well, Dylan? Crazy, he's giving me the old incentives to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's a manual, it's got MHC performance style front splitter. It's got some gloss black kind of grills. It's a nice cool car. Sound some spacers, it's looking good. But more importantly, this customer is about to take this car to the next level. If you know the N55, tuning wise, they've got a bit of room, especially if you've got like a 135 compared to an M2. Um, you can probably take it up to about 410 brake or something, maybe a bit more than on this, on like a stage two, like a healthy stage two, but you need some supporting mods. So what we need to do is focus on getting some air in the car, making sure we can maintain the boost and keep the car cool. So starting with some cooling, we've got a CSF, um, intercooler, so this is a full replacement intercooler. It's like almost more than double the size. Uh, finished in a nice black finish from CSF over in the US. This customer's already got a charge pipe, so it's quite renowned on the N55 that the charge pipes can blow. Um, so he's already replaced that, but what we're gonna fit as well today is a MMR boost pipe. So this is on the opposite side, the turbo side. It goes from the intercooler to the turbo um, just to keep boost consistent and prevent any problems when he's boosting. And then we're going for an intake. So this is actually a really cool intake. This is made by AirTech here in the UK. It's a nice, got a nice cover. It's got a big cone, so you get a whoosh in the whoosh. Uh, all done by AirTech and a nice kind of machined um, crossover pipe, which I think is really nice. It's going to be super simple to install. It's going to look good, all black and a bit of red. Um, and yeah, he's gone for a nice little vibe. It's quite subtle. So when you look inside the car, you won't see a big silver uh, intercooler. You'll see it all black as it look OEM plus. Um, but yeah, more importantly, let's get it on. The only other thing he'll need to really take this to a stage two is a catless downpipe or a sports cat, and that'll be his next thing. So I would, you know, we have the VRSF sports cats, probably what I'd recommend for this car, do that, keep the sound low, but just get a bit more power through it. But otherwise, this is all the supporting mods if you wanna just go for that stage one, stage one plus for now, and then go on to stage two. But yeah, let's show you how to do it. <laughs> manual we have in our fleet is a Fiesta ST so let's go so we've done the the boost pipe the charge the intercooler sorry from CSF and the AirTech intake washing manual beautiful color color car mineral gray that's why I actually started on the F22 um, I had a B58 F22 in mineral gray this interior is pretty cool and it's actually a three-door as they call it so it's like a mini touring um, but let's get on the road, let's get it washing. Let's do a quick test drive. So what I'll do is, we've done an intercooler, right? Um, and we've obviously had reconnected the, um, we've connected the charge pipe. So the biggest problem that we'll have insulation wise is if the charge pipes are leaking or they're not fully connected. So the best thing is kind of get it into a little bit of a high gear and then get it to boost as hard as possible. Let's see if it'll pop. Um, so that's what I want to do. These cars are wicked. Be good, I always wanted my F80 M3 to be manual, but then um, very difficult to find one and people wanted a lot of money, I couldn't afford it, so I went for a DCT, uh, which I kinda enjoy, but a manual would be cool. Um, maybe, 
manual G87. I want them to bring an M2 uh, CS in manual, which would be perfect. So we'll boost it for a second. Oh, the intake sounds so good. Good value for money, the AirTech. Um, we've got actually a 240i B58 behind us, so he's he's loving life. We've got a nice open road to first. Won't boost too hard in first. It's now into second. So we'll boost all the way through the gear into third. Nice driving car, it's quite quick for a state. Well, it's not even mapped yet, but it's safe to do so now, which is the main thing. Just let the boost cool. Um, like train. Guys and girls, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. This is a little bit of a different video. This is just like essential mods for your kind of N55 um, car. Just make sure you change your, you know, the boost pipe that we installed isn't essential. I would highly recommend just spending your money more on the charge pipe side of things. But if you're paying for the labor, your car is being worked on in that area, you might as well do it all. Um, another FTP is a brand that sells the boost and the charge all in one box. So take a look on the website. Um, but yeah, hit that subscribe, subscribe button and uh, hit our inquiries emails. Pick up the phone lines and let's talk uh, 135, 235 and M2 OGs. And yeah, enjoy, enjoy the boosting and take care. I keep trying to go for that DCT uh, paddle, but ain't working amazing. Well, I'd like to subscribe. See you later.